boys and girls it's time for another episode of the ghetto gourmet with your boy here big red this was going to be a, a big red snack attack video but they don't pre-make what i'm going to make anymore so it's just going to turn into a ghetto gourmet um episode and then for the snack review you're just going to have to tune in on the next go round. so what are we going to make today I'm going to show you. We are going to make Jello Pudding Pops. I remember as a kid, they used to make them pre-made. They came in a box about yay big, and they were already frozen in your grocery freezer. Nowadays, not so much. They just sell you the kit, so you got to make your own Jello. Make your own pudding pops. So, I've never made uh, Jello pudding before. My mother or grandmother always either brought me the snack packs when I was older, when those came out, or they made their own pudding and that's, you know, I just ate it. I was a kid. But I never made Jello pudding before, nor Jello pudding pops. So, we're going to have to read some instructions. I should get my reading testicles, but they're in the other room and I don't feel like going to get it. Oh, it's kind of big, so it's easy. Uh, let's see, it says, beet pudding mix and milk with a whisk for two minutes. I don't know if I got a whisk. Yeah, I got a whisk. I think so. Um, fill into a plastic bag, seal, cut bag corner, small piece, squeeze into the bucket, and then let freeze for five hours. So, two minutes to make. And then it's got to freeze for five hours. Good Lord Almighty. All right, so I got to see if I have a Ziploc bag like they're talking about. But anyway, so this is what comes in. Hell, this could be an unboxing video. This is what comes in your Jello Pudding Pop kits. You get a little six-pack tray here. You get some stickers. Well, not stickers, but... uh the uh little things that you stick into the jello pudding and of course they branded their own little thing on it jello and i mean i remember when they never had all that little fancy dancy plastic crap all they had was just a wooden popsicle stick sitting out of it but they give you a little maze on the back for the kids and you also get your choice of chocolate pudding or vanilla pudding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them both. I'm not a chocolate fan. Just double check this here. They got instructions on here. It says uh, uh, that's to make... Uh, That's just the instructions to make the pudding. You can make mini pops. They give you a recipe for that. And they give you a recipe for something called dirt cups. Which is jello pudding, milk, cool whip, blah, 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 blah. And add chewy snacks. We ain't making that. We're just going to make the pudding. So, uh... Let's get started here, shall we? So I'm going to need two bowls. It's a good thing I did the dishes this morning. 
because otherwise I would only have one bowl. So now I gotta go into the old handy dandy uh, the handy dandy uh, dishwasher here that just went off a little while ago. Get another bowl, I'm gonna make the other pudding. And let's see here, what am I else am I gonna need out of here before because these things ain't dry all the way and I ain't I ain't trying to do all of this here right now. I'm just trying to make something, yo. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need a measuring cup, but that's the measuring cups in here. Not this drawer, stupid. How about this drawer, stupid? Here we go. Another measuring cups in there, but the, we can use this measuring cup. So what we need here, again, we need to read the instructions because I'm borderline retarded, um, and I've never done this before. Need two cups of cold milk. One pack of Jello pudding, and uh, so we're gonna actually need four cups of milk. I don't know if these bowls are gonna actually be big enough. We're gonna try one, see, and if not, we'll we'll have to reconvene with something else. So it says beat pudding and milk for two minutes. Get the handy dandy whisk. We're gonna open this here. We're gonna do the vanilla first. I don't know. I'm starting to think that they quit making the pre made ones. Maybe because of Bill Cosby. I don't know. Maybe since he was the spokesperson and he, you know, took advantage of some peeps. I thought vanilla pudding was supposed to be yellow. This is white powder. What do I know? It smells vanilla -y. And it says two cups, right? That's what it says. Two cups. Like one girl with two cups. Or two cups and one girl. I don't know. Okay, so that's one cup. Oh, it turns yellow when, when you pour the milk in. Look at that. That's one cup. Ooh, this is going to be close. And there's two cups. I don't like measuring stuff. Ooh, this is going to be close. Whoa, that's close. Good thing I used big bowls. I bought big bowls. All right, so we've got to whisk this for two minutes. So we're going to put the timer on for two minutes and five seconds. Because it's going to take me about, probably five seconds to get on over there. But yeah, this was whiter than white. And Add that milk to it, it turned yellow as freaking butter or whatever, you know, that's crazy. They must have some kind of communist witchcraft going on here. I guess you're just supposed to whisk it just to get the lumps out. This is real liquidy. This don't look like pudding. Maybe it's got to set up. Pudding directions. Two cups cold milk. Beet pudding. Mix and milk with a whisk for two minutes. Pudding will be soft set in five minutes. Mix four half cup servings. Refrigerate any leftover. So you're supposed to whisk it for two minutes and then in five minutes it'll set. So let me get these, these freezer bags here that I need to, to uh, use to skeet it into the cups. That's what they tell you to do, but you know what? I'm, I'm not even, that's what they tell you to do, but you know what? I'm not even going to try to hear all that nonsense. 
And I guess you're supposed to break these off. Okay, since I fought it around for a minute, we're gonna beat it for a little bit more time. I mean, I can see it getting a little thicker. Move this one here out the way so we can. We're gonna do three. I'm gonna eat the pudding so we have the, the pudding flavor taste. But uh, I'm gonna make three of each pudding pop. It didn't say you had to spray it with anything or none of that shenanigans. Yeah, it's still very liquidy. It says it sets up in five, so. The liquid has been in there for a good at least two minutes. So well, these, well, we, we ain't wasting no bag. That's ghetto. So we're going to just go ahead and... Oh, it's making a mess. Look at that. Mm. Maybe I should have put it in the bag. Because it's making a mess all over my counter. Next one, we are going straight into the, look at that mess I made. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, the next one we're going to put in a little piping bag, but you put your little Lids in there. It's like a, almost like an ice tray. So there you have that. But man, look at this mess. Good Lord Almighty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Uh. Tastes like vanilla pudding. But man. Look at that mess I made. I mean really. So how are we gonna fix that? Hmm. I got an idea. Be back in a second. Do we have what I need? Do we have what I need? I don't see what I need. I thought we had some, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought we had some of that, but, but it never fails. Let me see, hold on. Let me see. Oh goodness gracious. I know we got one back there, but hmm. Hmm. What I'm looking for, we never use, so we only buy them as needed. Just give me a second here, guys. Um, uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, inside of here. got one in this one cabinet that we never use above the fridge so let me see the only problem is got all kind of decorations on top of the fridge and it's a pain in the ass to get into because you got to move everything and blah 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 it's a real pain in the dicks you know why couldn't why couldn't the ex-wife 
want this decoration crap in the divorce, huh? Let's see, got cups, buku in here. Aha, we do have something that I could use. Hey, look, my Bluebell coffee mug. Wow, imagine that. And we got all kind of stuff in here that I never use. All right, so let me put these decorations back how they was. You know, I picked and I picked and designed this stupid thing, but that's only because the ex-wife didn't want me to decorate with freaking my action figures anymore, like I had in my original house before she moved in. You know what I'm saying? She wanted. To, Oh, you ain't decorate with no plastic action figures in this house when we moved to Texas, but yet she wants plastic and freaking fake food. That's okay. I don't get it. But behind door number two, like Monty Hall says, they had exactly what I was looking for. And what was I looking for? Da 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 da! Works just fine. <sighs> Waste not, what not, Granny always said. You know, when I woke up this morning, this wasn't what I was planning on doing. Sucking jello uh, pudding off of my kitchen counter. <sighs> it's like almost like doing a line of coke, I guess. Except through your mouth. It's probably better for you. Well, I don't know. It's, it is a processed pudding. So who knows? Alright, so the rest is just going to have to get wiped up and then cleaned. Because I can't get no more off of that. So we're just going to wipe that on up. Uh, that's a two paper towel. Even with bounty quick to pick her up is Yeah, that made a mess. Now I see why they tell you to use a bag. Alright, so now let's go on to make the chocolate. <clears throat> With that being said, let's bring a little chocolate pudding. And as you all know, if y'all have been watching any of my videos for the past couple months that I've been doing this, y'all know I'm not a fan of chocolate. Very selective about my chocolate. And I don't think chocolate pudding is on the list of things I like as far as going chocolate. Alright, okay, so we got our chocolate powder mix in there and now we need just two cups of milk that's one Here's two. The chocolate looks a little more lumpier. I don't know why, but it does. So we can put the milk away.
maybe two minutes and oh, no. two minutes and five seconds. I'm going to beat the hell out of this. So I'm thinking just with what I spilt on the counter and what's left in this bowl, I'm thinking one pack will easily make six pudding pops. I mean, you could do this with your ice trays if you wanted to make baby ones, your ice trays and toothpicks, and put a uh, seal of. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, plastic wrap, saran wrap over the top. Stick your toothpicks through it so they stand up in it. So I guess we'll follow the instructions for this one, maybe, huh? chocolate one seems to be firming up a lot quicker about five seconds left So what they tell you to do is to take a freezer bag and they tell you to pour your concoction into there is what they tell you to do. So we're going to pour what I think we need to make even this is getting messy dripping down the side of the bag here so we're still gonna make a mess just not as big of a mess mm. as you can see I don't like making desserts I could cook my butt off but make a dessert mm -mm. that's not my forte not to be con confused with a 40, it's not my forte. You got me? Hmm. Making all kind of mess. Alright, so now what we need to do is make sure that it says to cut a little hole in the corner of your bag. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut a little hole, little hole in the corner of the bag. I'll turn all the pudding cups around and then we're just gonna squeeze it in there like it's a like it's a piping like it's a piping bag. See this to me will waste some only because you're not gonna get everything out of this bag. But it sure makes it a lot neater, that's for sure. Uh, come on, about a half a couple, a half a little tube away. Come on, you can do it. Mm. 
Just try to get as much of this here out of this because we paid for this, yo. And that, in the ghetto, you, you, you learn you, you, you don't waste. So let's try to get all of this out of here. And I think I put the right amount in the bag to do this, actually. Because like I said, I'm almost empty and it's just a little, little bit from the top on each cup. So with that being said, let's see if we can't get the rest of this to play nice. And there you have it. So now all we got to do left is put this in the freezer. And in five hours, we will have frozen jello pudding pops. And you do waste some in the bag. Let's see if we can't get this all out of here and in, back into the bowl. Because like Mama said, waste not, want not. Right, so I'm going to have a lot of cleaning up to do, but uh, there you have it. That's how you make pudding and how you make the pudding pops. So let me wash off the little hands right quick. And uh, we're going to put these here in the freezer up over here and in five hours we should have frozen pudding pops if this experiment worked proper I should say okay we got a lot of stuff to clean up here afterwards but y'all know the time it is for the ghetto gourmet it's time to go sit down and eat so Let's eat some pudding. Actually, we're just going to do it right here. I'm not even bringing this mess elsewhere. So, let me get a spoon here. And boy, does it get thick. It gets thick and gloopy. So let's try this uh, chocolate pudding. It's very chocolatey. Not a fan. Try this here vanilla. I'm still amazed that it wasn't yellow to start with, but once you add the milk, it turned yellow. I like the I like the vanilla better. But now that I have this little kit where I can make other flavors, I like banana pudding. I like tapioca too. But tapioca, what are those little dots and little beads in there? Mmm. Never could figure that out. It's like those mystery dots in tapioca pudding. I 
And so, wiped out that. I just wish my son was here so he could beat up this chocolate pudding. Because I'm just not a big fan of chocolate pudding, but I won't see my son for a week. Because it's spring break and he's with his ma. So I'm going to have to suffer through this for y'all. Uh, reminds me like I'm in middle school again. Eat your pudding. You can't have any pudding unless you eat your meat. So the actual making of it this video will do as the ghetto gourmet and then the tasting of the pudding pops will be from the or for the uh, big red snack attack so in five hours or so we'll uh, get them puppies out and see if the snack kits worth it or if we should just still Keep rolling with the snack packs, pre-made pudding. I mean, I mean this kit was like five bucks. And you figure two of those bucks were for the actual pudding. So they charge you like three bucks for the mole and the packaging and all that other bullshit. All right, Jello pudding. Chocolate. I'm going to have to give you a A one or a two. That's only because I don't like chocolate. So, you gotta excuse that. The vanilla, I'm just gonna give you a three because that vanilla is weak, dude. It was entertaining to watch it turn from white to yellow, but eh, not enough flavor in it. Not enough vanilla flavor to it. So, there you have it. I've been your boy Big Red for the Ghetto Gourmet. And uh, down there, the subscription bar, subscribe. And you'll know when I have new content. Easiest way to find my old content. Also, down there somewhere, there's a comment section. Type me out a little comment, and I'll type you one back. Show me yours, and I'll show you mine. And also, you can now follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Somewhere down there in the description box, there are links. There's also a link to my PayPal account if you want to help uh, support this channel, if you so freely would like to. You know, cooking all this food for you guys and eating all this food for you guys ain't paid for, ain't sponsored. So, if you want to help, help. If not, okay, I can live with it. But, this has been your boy Big Red. Thanks again for watching. And may all of your cooking experiences be. I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Hi, right, and thanks for watching another episode of The Ghetto Gourmet. If you like that video, subscribe click that little subscribe button please and if you enjoyed it there's a little like button down there give me the thumbs up and if you have a comment there's a section down there comment section leave a comment I reply to all my comments um, if there's something you want me to try to cook you know just name it put it down there I'll give it a try um, also uh, I have two other web series, the comics from a can, from the can, 
and also White Trash Guide to Buffets Across America. Give those a, a view. Check them out. Think you may enjoy them. Until next time, enjoy cooking. Ghetto Fabulous style.